Hey Cutters, in this video we're going to kick off a brand new playlist for this channel. But before we get into the content of this video, I just want to make a very special announcement and that is that this channel has finally gotten the new microphone which we have been fundraising for. This is a Yeti microphone from Blue Microphones and with the collective contribution of all of us and the support of everyone, we have finally brought on that microphone. So I really hope that the audio quality of these future videos, uh, starting with this video today, really improves and you guys enjoy it more. I want to make a special shout out to everyone who donated personally. So let me just switch on over to my screen. So here was the fundraiser which we had been running for the past month or so and as you can tell from the top right we have exceeded our $138 goal by $7 and raised a total of $145 and that is okay because a little a bit of that went to the GoFundMe platform just for hosting this fundraiser. So I want to thank everyone for their support and, and all the views that they give this channel. It really means a lot to me but I want to give a special shout out in reference to these five incredible people down here who contributed with their personal finances for the overall success of this channel and growth of this channel. So let me go one by one for each of them. First we had Diana Wynn who kicked things off with her contribution and then we had MD Amir Hussain, we had Stefano Zito. We had Peter Weiss, and then finally, to wrap up the fundraiser, we had a contribution from Daniel Costa E. Rosenthal. So again, I cannot express enough how thankful I am to each of these five people for contributing and, and joining me on this channel's success and growth. Now, we had GoFundMe, but we also had the addition of two new patrons also to this channel, and they were... Yung Hung Lee, right here. I want to thank you, Yung Hung Lee. And also, we had Konstantin Yatsenko. So, Konstantin was able to join the Platinum tier as well, which means now he gets direct access with me through email communication, and we are already starting to work on some of his problems and, and, and app script problems and Google Cloud projects. So if that sounds like something that you also want access to, be sure to become a patron of this channel's Patreon page so that we can collaborate and work together on a lot of your projects. All right, with that said, let's jump on over to the content of this video now and learn a little bit more about AppScript. Hey coders, and welcome to the brand newest playlist of this channel's Google AppScript course. In this season, we're going to be covering the map service, starting out with this introductory episode, where we'll be looking at the maps parent class. So the map service is used for accessing Google Maps from Apps Script, and some of the common direct use cases of it are to create static maps, to find directions, and finally to inspect elevation and terrain. So we're going to be looking at all of these more closely in future episodes, but for now let's just make sure we're all on the same page and just inspect this parent class a little bit more closely in the code right now. This is one of my most favorite things to see, a fresh blank code editor, which means that we're going to be learning something new and we're going to be creating something great. So we are now in the project season 14. We only have one file right now. So let's fill up this code editor with some code. So again, we're going to be looking at the maps service and the maps parent class is simply maps. That's it, not maps service, not maps app, just maps. And if we look at some of the direct methods and interfaces that we have, we can see that we have a direction finder, which is how you can access some of the enums. And we also have, if we delete that, we have static map. Also on here, there are some enums such as color. And so those things will be used for accessing the enums, but we also have some direct methods from the parent class maps. We have decode polyline, encode polyline. And if we look down here, we have new static map, set authentication. 
we can we can have a new elevation sampler new direction finder and a new geocoder so those are all of the current methods and interfaces uh, directly off of the maps parent class again we're going to be looking at all of these so even though polyline decode polyline might not make sense right now in future videos it's all going to become clear so one of the nice things also about the map service is that you can use any one of these methods say new static map and if you save it and if you run it you do not need to require any authentication so it's it's you can just run it you don't have to um, ask users for uh, if it's okay to run because this is just accessing Google Maps it's not accessing any of your personal data so as you can see it started and completed without asking asking us to authenticate the app first all right, that's all I'm going to share for this introductory video. When we jump into uh, into the into the upcoming videos, we're going to be getting more deeply into how all of these methods work, how all these methods work, and what they're useful for. So I can't wait to see you in the very next episode. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to give a thumbs up, a like, and also remember to subscribe to this channel. It really means a lot to me. So guys, I'll see you in the very next episode.